What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Jesse Anderson. So this guy's name in the English is Jesse Anderson. In the Japanese he's known as Johan Anderson. His nicknames mainly in the Japanese are Ghost and Mystery Man. His ages are 17 to 18 in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX episode 106, A Jewel of a Duel Part 1. Quick gist on the character, Jesse Anderson, spelled Jesse Anderson in some video games and called Johan Anderson in the Japanese version, is a transfer student hailing from North Academy, who enters Dual Academy in his third year. Jesse is Scandinavian in the Japanese version, while he seems to be from the southern United States in the English version. Sometimes people call him Jess as a nickname. Jesse is kind and thoughtful and sometimes shy. Aww. Just like Jaden, he is also excitable and energetic. Similarities between him and Jaden are noted in both versions, from their personality to their ability to see dull spirits. He serves as one of Jaden's allies. Although a close friend, his disappearance serves as a catalyst for Jaden's descent into darkness as the supreme king of the alternate dimension. Jesse is later possessed by the spirit of Yubel, Jaden's favourite card in childhood, using him and his crystal beasts as mediators to act through. So we actually have some stats on all the duels that Jesse played in the uh, anime series. The 14 duels that were shown, these are his results. To be fair, he's won most of his games, that's not too bad. Jesse's usual outfit consists of a blue above waist length jacket with dark blue outlines, a lavender shirt with frilled cuffs at his wrists on his sleeves, and black pants which are held up with a white belt. His teal hair juts in backward and down directions. His outfit when possessed by Ubel was a dark blue vest with belt straps onto the front with a black tank top underneath. In the dub, Jesse speaks with a Southern American accent, which becomes more pronounced over time, and utilises Southern vocal mannerisms such as y'all. So he'd talk a bit like this. Well, hey there, Jay. <laughs> y'all gonna go... <laughs> I can't do it. While possessed by Ubel, it is much thinner and his voice is much deeper and darker. At first his voice went back and forth between electronic effect and no effect, but as of episode 149, when speaking with his own voice he uses the one with effects exclusively. It's also worth noting that Ubel doesn't usually use her own voice while controlling him in the original, but in the dub she uses it for a fair amount. At one point when she told Adrian Gecko about what Jaden did to her, she used her voice and Jesse's added together. When she did, his body glowed purple. By contrast, the Japanese his version does not use electronic effects and he has no accent, but his voice is darker while possessed. In addition, he tends to say, come out when summoning his monsters during the Japanese duels. In the Japanese version, Jesse claims that his purpose for dueling is to duel for people who believe in their decks and have strong bonds with their cards. Jesse carries an academy issued dual disc on his left wrist. Jesse uses a crystal beast deck. His monsters are based on seven precious gemstones collected from around the globe for the construction of a lithograph as evidence of Julius Caesar's reign during the time of the Roman Empire. On its return trip, the ship carrying the stones was battered by a storm, and the treasures disappeared into the depths of the ocean, employing this concept. Pegasus specifically designed and created the crystal beasts, which have the unique ability to retreat in a crystallized continuous spell form to their controller's spell and trap card zone, when destroyed as a means of avoiding complete annihilation. Due to the exclusivity of the cards, the Princeton family once attempted to purchase them using all its assets, but was rejected. Instead, Pegasus awarded them to Jesse at the end of a European tournament. In the dub, it was a southern tournament. The only Crystal Beast card not given to Jesse at the time was the Rainbow Dragon, which wasn't even found until Dual Academy was sucked into an alternate dimension. However, when he gets the card, Jesse focuses his strategies around gathering all the Crystal Beasts together to summon it. While under Ubel's control, Jesse used two decks. One was an advanced Crystal Beast deck, which, like Jaden's Evil Hero deck, included darker versions of the original Crystal Beasts he owned, as well as a darker version of his Rainbow Dragon. His second deck, his Sacred Beast deck, was only revealed when Jesse dueled Adrian Gecko, but while under Ubel's control. He also ran another variation of the Sacred Beast deck, which was very different from the version Ubel had used while possessing Marcel Bonaparte. This deck included cards that could duplicate themselves upon activation or being summoned on the field, such as Triangle Force, Delta Barrier and Illusion Brigadier. With these cards, he could meet the requirements for summoning each of the Sacred Beasts easily. As with Marcel, several of his cards went by different names in the dub from the TCG. In this deck, his ace card was Ubel. Weirdly enough, in the manga version of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Jesse and the rest of the overseas champions are from the American Duel Academy. Jesse has an interest in bugs and he first meets Jaden Yuki in Cyrus Truesdale while he is chasing a rare beetle. 
He also plays an insect deck to reflect his interests, so a big difference there. And with that guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, favourite and subscribe. So yeah, thanks for watching and catch you later.